Hi, I'm Bob Jordan with Interim Execs. I'm joined by my colleague, Cindy Richards, also with Interim Execs. And we're gonna have a fun little conversation around quality of earnings. Everybody wants to talk about QOE, right? Yes, we're gonna talk about it just for a few minutes because this is important. This is important if you own a company, you're on the board, you're a shareholder, privately held, and you're gonna be going to market at some point. This is the kind of secret weapon that buyers don't necessarily want to tell you about if you've never been through a sale process before. I'll cut to the chase. If you're selling a company and you've never done it before and you go to market and you don't do your own QOE, you are leaving money on the table. There is a risk in not commissioning your own quality of earnings report. We're going to take a quick five, 10 minutes and talk about this. Again, this is for company owners, board members, shareholders, especially if you're looking to go to market soon. A little bit of background first. I'm with Bob Jordan with Interim Execs. Uh, we're a premier matchmaker in the world for organizations that need C-suite resource, like a CFO or a CEO. We've been at it a long time, about 16 years, uh, screened 8,000 executives from 63 countries, and developed a concept we call Red Team, Rapid Executive Deployment. We'll talk about a little bit more later. I have a long background helping owners and boards uh, sell companies. I've been in uh, three IPOs. I'm the lead person on a number of exits to strategic uh, acquirers before having launched Interim Execs. I'm the CEO of Interim Execs, and we've authored a number of books on leadership. So if you're going to go to market, and there are likely financial buyers. If, if, if financial buyers are likely acquirers, <laughs> excuse me, of your company, and that could mean a private equity fund or someone else like that, what you need to know is that your EBITDA drives valuation. EBITDA is your earnings before interest taxes, depreciation, and amortization. Wait, let me say it one more time. EBITDA drives valuation. If we had 100 private equity funds in the room with us right now and you said, gee, what determines valuation? Well, it's going to be your earnings. That's it. There can be other things that come into play. You own the land, fine. The real estate's a separate transaction. You got a lot of IP, got it. But generally speaking, the center of the fairway, most transactions, it's EBITDA. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's go through a scenario. You go to market with your company. And these buyers love you. And the winning bidder, they put up a term sheet, an LOI, and it says, we're going to give you 10 times earnings, EBITDA. And uh, your earnings, everyone's seen your data room and your docs, and, and uh, you, you're showing earnings of 10 million. So this is, the math is simple. Um, you're going to get 10 times 10. You're getting 100 million as stated on the term sheet, the LOI. Wow, but now what happens? You sign the term sheet, you go into diligence, and of course, what is the buyer going to do? Well, the buyer is going to go commission a QOE, quality of earnings report. They're going to go to some really good accounting firm, and they're going to do this, and that's part of what the diligence process is. Oh, but 12 weeks later, it comes back, and the firm says, your earnings look more like they're about 9.5, not 10. Well, you signed the term sheet, you're going through diligence, you got all your closing docs, contracts, you're getting ready. I mean, PE shop says this is just the math. It's 9.5. You know, they're, they're going to wire you 95 million on closing, not 100. You just lost 5 million bucks. So what's the solution? The solution is commission your own quality of earnings report before you go to market. Why? Well, first, let us quote the great Vince Lombardi, who he didn't say winning is everything, by the way. He said the will to prepare to win is everything, and you need to prepare to win. So you got to do this up front before you go to market. This is part of your suiting up for game day. You know, secondarily, owners will take, uh, acquirers will take note favorably, which is you just show more sophistication as an ownership group, <clears throat> as a management team, uh, when you got all your ducks lined up in a row. Um, of equal importance, you're going to be better able to deal with any potential surprises if you handle this 
outside of the heat of battle before you ever got into expectations and bidding and who are you going to sign with and the emotion and family is so happy for you because you got this big number and blah, blah, blah. No, take care of your business first. Taking care of your business first means that you're going to feel the full team. Uh, of course, it's going to have your brilliant lawyer and accountant. But now in the modern age, it means there's other outside leadership resources to help you, to lead that QOE effort, to prep you for sale in the hundreds of ways you need to be prepared, to get through diligence, to get through closing, <clears throat> and to get through the post-sale integration. Because there's still going to be activities after wires changes hands in terms of true up. And there could be that your team or you are on the hook for the success of integration. And you're certainly on the hook for reps and warranties, despite any insurance. So one little shameless advertisement here for the red team. Red stands for rapid executive deployment. We are not the folks directly who are doing the QOE. We're going to help you get a great accounting firm to do that. But in terms of all of those hundreds of things you need to do to be prepared for exit, <clears throat> excuse me, we can help a member of the red team, CEO, CFO, CIO, those kind of resources can help you. So we'll leave you with this, just a couple questions to consider. And if you want to get in touch with us, by the way, you can email redteam at intermexx.com or call us 847-849-2800. So, excuse me, the thing to be thinking about here as you're going into this is, you know, is your financial house in order? You know, the highest bidder, um, when they do that QOE, what, what, what are they going to find? Uh, these are things where an expert outside CFO can help. And it could be you already have a CFO, but if they've never gone through a transaction, oh my gosh, the benefit to you of having a temporary outside resource, someone who's been through it 10 times, 20 times, you are gonna go in so much better armed. Uh, and this is the advantage of the modern age. You're not gonna be taking on a new full-time employee. These are outside resources that will enhance your position. They do not add to permanent overhead. And by the way, in terms of sophisticated preparation for sale, you're gonna have transaction related expenses that should not directly go against your earnings. And these kind of interim and fractional resources, they're exactly in that category. They're not going to dent the permanent set, the mindset, and the profile of your earnings. So let's help make your earnings as robust as they can. Uh, give us a call, and we're happy to help. Thanks very much. Have a great day.